Hello my YouTube friends! I've done a few videos on adding guests to your live stream, but none of the apps that I've used will allow you to record the guests audio separately so you can remix it later. Today I want to show you how you can set up OBS to add guests with audio that you can record separately. And it's totally free, so you know what? Let's get to it! We're going to use a web app called Video Ninja. It's totally free. Let's jump right in. So the first thing we're going to do is go here and we're going to create a room. Now the link to this is in the description below. It's totally free. We hit create a room. We put our room name in here. For the purposes of this video, we're going to call it tutorial. We can add a password or not add it. It's fine if we don't. The guests can see the director, which of course you are the director, but not other guests videos. Uh, I'm not going to check that. The director will be performing as well. You could check that or not check. It doesn't really matter. Preferred video codec. You don't really have to do any of this. Let's leave it default so you can see what I'm talking about. So we're going to join as the director. And this is what we get when we first start out. Now I'm going to show you how to set this up and then we're going to add some guests. First, let's set up all of our information so that our guests can see us and hear us. So we're going to go here and we're going to enable our director. We're going to click this button right here. And so we want our video source. We're going to drop this down and select the camera that we want to use. Then we're going to go and we're going to select the audio source we're going to use. And we want to choose how we're going to hear our guests. So we're going to drop this down and we're going to select our headphones. And there we go. So now if we take a look down here we could see our little image we're all set up all we have to do is turn that off so we will be able to hear our guests now we're all set up and ready to add guests so in order to invite guests all we need to do is send this link to anyone that we want to come to our live stream so you could customize the link change it up however you want or you could just click copy and go ahead and email this to other guests I work really hard to create content that I think you're going to enjoy. Sometimes I hit and sometimes I miss and it's really hard to know for sure. And that's where you can really help me out. If you like the content here in this video, leave it a thumbs up. And if maybe it's not your thing, give it a thumbs down. It's perfectly fine. If everyone watching this video gives it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, it instantly tells me which direction you want to see me take my channel. And it really does help me out. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hit those thumbs up and thumbs down. Let's get back to the video. Now that our guests are joining, let's set it up in OBS. All right, so now we have two guests in here. They're just cameras that I put around my house. So they're connected to Video Ninja. It's gonna make it easy. I don't have to worry about having somebody else join or anything like that. Works the same way with people. So now let's set this up in OBS. And we have a blank OBS right here. So we're just going to take scene one. We're going to rename it. We'll call it main. We're going to use that one in a second. We're going to go ahead and add guest one as a new scene. And then what I'm going to do is click the plus and we're going to go to browser and we'll call this guest one cam click. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into here and we're just going to take guest one. We're going to copy the solo view link right here and we're going to go back into OBS. We're going to paste it right here and we're going to make our video 1920 by 1080 and we want to control our audio via OBS so that we have an audio source in here. So here we go. We got an audio source and boom, there we go. And we can even see there's audio playing. So then we're going to go and click the plus. We're going to go to guest two and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to click the plus and we're going to go to browser and we'll call this guest two cam and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go back over here to our video ninja we're going to take the copy of the second camera link we're going to paste it in here and we're going to do 1920 by 1080 and we want to control the audio probably won't be much here this is in a relatively isolated part of the house so it's pretty quiet there there we go so now we've got that and we're going to put another camera in here and we'll call this me and we'll go ahead and click the plus and we're going to add a video capture device and we'll call this cam click OK and there we go. We're going to go and select our proper audio for this. So I'm going to use a custom audio device and I'm going to select our cam link one. And so why would I set this up like this? Well, the main reason why I'm setting it up like this is so that I can crop stuff. So I can go over here and I can kind of crop this and crop this and I could do this on any one of my guest scenes as well so that I can have the scene exactly how I want there we go so now we have 
our three scenes. We've got guest one, guest two, and my scene. We'll go into main and we're gonna go ahead and click the plus and we're gonna add a scene. So right here, we're gonna add a scene and we will add our scene first. And there we go, we can just shrink this up. We can add labels to it and pretty much anything we want. And we're gonna go and add our guest two by going to scenes. And you can see down here, it adds the proper audio as well. So now we can shrink this, put it however we want. We can label it. We can put background images in here. We can do all kinds of cool stuff. And then we're gonna go here and select scene. And we'll go with guest two. And this one, we'll set this up so it features guest two a little bigger than the other ones. We'll shrink this down kind of blow this one up and put it down below the rest of them all right so there we go now we've got three guests you can see we have separate audio for each one of those guests so if we wanted to record that audio separately what we're going to do is we're going to click the plus and we're going to go to advanced audio properties right here and we've got our camera and we want our camera to record on track one we want our guest cam to record on track two. And we want our guest two cam to record on track three. And this will save the audio in separate tracks when we record so that we can go in there and edit each one of those audio pieces separately. Now there's really nothing that you need to do here in your recording to set this up. So what tracks do we want? Well, we know we want one, two, and three to record. So we can select our audio encoder right here, but we can leave that the same. So we can have up to six separate tracks for audio. So now we have audio set up to record completely separately. So why did we set this up so it has its own nested scene? Once we get our main scene set up and we have our labels, we can right click and we can duplicate it and we can, I'll call it main two, there we go. And in main two, what we could do is adjust our locations for our guests and we can move our labels around if we have labels set up or whatever. And we'll move me all the way to the bottom, there we go. And let's do one more. So we'll just duplicate this and we're gonna call this one main three and click okay. And then what we're going to do is just resize this one here, this, and remove that over there. We're going to move this one down here. And you can obviously have all this stuff labeled and everything else, so that'll all work too. We'll embiggen this one over here, move it to the bottom. So now we've got three different scenes, and we can make this even cooler by going here and selecting the move transition. And now they will all do the thing so we could switch scenes to highlight different guests and all that sort of stuff so you can set this up so that main would highlight the main person or whatever you name these so that you know who's being highlighted at whatever scene that you want it to be highlighted and now we've got three guests with three different audio sources that we're saving on separate tracks and i'm going to do a small recording so i can show you how that works but you can see how easy this is to set up and why you set it up on separate nested scenes. So these scenes right here are what I would call nested scenes. And you do this because it gives you the ability to crop things out so that when you add them to your main scene, you can see this is a cropped image. It looks great. Now, another question that I get a whole heck of a lot when we're dealing with adding guests is, Sometimes you have a presentation or you want your guests to hear the audio from your stream, that sort of stuff. And Video Ninja makes it at least possible to do that. So what we could do is go into Video Ninja here. I can go down here, click the plus, and I can share an application, a window, or an entire screen. So let's say that I was going to show a video in the live stream. Well, what I can do is I can share an entire screen so that the audience can see, but at the same time, my guests will be able to see on their screen as well. So we can also share system audio, which is perfect because anything that I am using as monitor, so in other words, if I'm monitoring my guests and I'm monitoring 
they'll be able to hear that. I can turn all those monitoring things off and share it, or I can just share the video audio. So you can definitely share your audio this way so that your guests can hear what's going on. So you'll be able to see the video in real time along with all the audio so that you can interact with your guests and they can see all of the things that you see. So the other thing about Video Ninja is that once we set up this space, so you probably want to name it something a little more original than tutorial. Because once we set up this space, if you're doing the same show every week, when your guests show up, they're going to show up in the same window. They're going to have the same link. Now, occasionally I don't. Sometimes it doesn't work, but usually we're going to have the same link, which means that when you go into OBS to get ready for your recording or your live stream, everything is already going to be in there. They, all they have to do is log into Video Ninja, and all this stuff will automatically set up and you're going to be ready to go. And let's just say for the sake of discussion that this camera right here, this is guest two, let's say their camera doesn't automatically connect. Well, that's perfectly fine. All you do is you go over into, into here, you go to your camera two and you copy the link, and then you go back into here, and we're going to go to guest two, and all you have to do is right click on here, go to properties, and just paste the new link right in there click OK and you're gonna get your camera back and there you go so you don't have to if you're streaming the same stream every week with the straight with the same guests with the same labels you don't have to recreate this every week generally speaking if they're connecting from the same com computer and all that stuff it's gonna look the same to video ninja and you don't have to do anything and if you do it's really easy just to paste those links. This is awesome for video podcasts, live streaming, the whole nine yards. You're going to love it. Let me really quickly show you what it looks like when we record so that you understand how it separates the audio. So we're going to go over here where we have my camera, the guest camera, uh, the guest cam, and the video. And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go into settings real quick so I can set where my output is going to go so I can actually physically find it and we'll put it in here click apply and OK and what we're going to do is start recording that and we're just going to get a few seconds you can see all of the different cameras are recording so we're going to have different tracks for each one of those I'll show you how that works we'll just stop recording right here and let me show you what this looks like in an editor. All right, so here we have DaVinci Resolve. It's going to be the same for any other recording software, but this is just free and easy to use. Uh, yeah, fine. And then we can just drag this down here into the timeline. And if you look down here, you see we have all of our separate audio tracks. This right here is the video audio. This right here is guest one audio, and this is my audio. So we can actually play that, and you're going to hear all the audio, see all the video, and you can mix it up separately. You can separate out each one of these audio pieces so that you can make some louder, some quieter, whatever you want to do. Now you can repurpose live streams where you have guests into separate videos, with great clean audio and great video and even include videos that you make comments on or do live reactions to. So this is everything you ever wanted to know about adding guests, recording audio, and maybe putting out some cool video podcasts. You can create a really professional looking stream or video using the stuff that I showed you today and your audience is going to love it. But is there something that I may have missed? Let me know in the comments. And if you wanted to record the video separately as well in full resolution, you could do that. There is a plugin that's easy to set up. You can check out how it works in this video. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.